always looking to improve our off-road ability and to increase our underbody clearance, we decided to put in some four and a half inch coils and some Rancho RS9000 XL shocks. These Ranchos are long travel shocks, so it's a good idea to extend the brake lines at the same time. Having seen these shocks on many vehicles before, I was really keen to give them a try on ours. It's the ability to make adjustments to the dampening that really caught our eye. Because if you think about it, as off-roaders, we're constantly adjusting our tyre pressures to suit the conditions. So it would only make sense that by adjusting the shock absorber's dampening rate, you could also improve the vehicle's performance and handling, depending on how and where you were driving. The Rancho RS9000 XL has nine stages of adjustment. There's a setting there to suit almost everything. And of course, it all depends on the type of vehicle you've got, your spring rate, your load, and what type of terrain you're driving on. And the beauty is that it's completely up to you to set up the vehicle on how you want it to handle. You can see in this series of photos shot by our guru photographer Hodjo that our Jeep on the commando trail in Coffs Harbour is flexing up nicely and at the same time remaining stable and not bouncing around. And here, as we drive forward through commando step, we have a full extension on the front with a wheel in the air. As we progress through the climb and the wheel touches down, the Rancho shock controls the coil's reaction to the compression. There's no bouncing, the tyre regains traction and we continue to drive through. Nine stages of adjustment means a setting for just about everything. Adjustments are achieved by turning the dial on the lower end of the shock. With these Rancho shock absorbers fitted, you can take on your favourite trails on a nice soft setting and then firm them up for the open road. When we're trying to climb hills and then hopefully driving home, our Rancho RS 9000 XLs are doing a great job for us. You can find out more about them at fourwheeldrive1.com.au. Thanks for watching Off-Roaders and we'll see you next time.